Today in the United States, and, and really across the world, there's a huge gap between the haves and the have-nots, and that gap is only growing. Most of the have-nots are people that have been left behind and left out of the education system. We have to focus our efforts on ensuring that all students, particularly those who have been left out, those who are racial and ethnic minorities, those who are immigrants, those who are adults, those who are living at or below the poverty line, have the ability to access and be successful in post-secondary learning. Lumina Foundation was created to make sure that high quality post high school learning opportunities are available to all. And we've done that through a unique uh, mechanism. We've set a time limited quantitative goal for our work. We believe that 60% of Americans should have a high quality degree, certificate or other credential by 2025. In 2008, about 38% of Americans had uh, a degree. Since then, we've now seen an increase, a total increase in the attainment rate of Americans to 48% by 2018. So we have made progress on post high school learning, but we will not achieve the 2025 goal at the current rate. Our current system does not address today's students. Those who are more racially, ethnically diverse, those who are older, those who have many other obligations. Our current system also doesn't address how people learn nowadays. Today and tomorrow's students are going to require a different type of learning. They're going to require education throughout their lifetime. They're going to constantly need to upskill and reskill so they can compete in a global economy. And for colleges and universities to be successful, they're going to have to better serve today's students. We also have a huge number of adults who are out there in society and who don't have any post high school training. And we need to be as focused on those adults who maybe started college but didn't finish. How can we get them back into an educational uh, training program, into a post-secondary degree program, so that they can get uh, the training and the credential that will make a difference for their family. The only thing that gets us to where we want to go and need to go is education. Uh, education that uh, enables people to live a full life. The data in the U.S. is really clear. Jobs for people without some level of post-secondary education do not pay well. In order to change that, more Americans need to have a higher level of education that they can apply to work that enables them to earn uh, a better living. So our model at Lumina Foundation is system change, and we tend to work, therefore, with large collaborative partnerships of employers, of colleges and universities, of workforce entities. So for example, we are working at a community level through something called talent hubs. We've established these talent hubs in more than two dozen American cities, and in those communities, there are business leaders, civic leaders, education leaders, and NGO leaders who have come together set goals in those communities and have agreed to actually work together to increase post-secondary attainment through their collaborative efforts. One of the most exciting things about the work we're doing at Lumina right now is that we recognize that if we're going to actually assure that credentials are of high quality, that employers and businesses have to be very closely aligned with and actually working together with educators to design programs that are tightly aligned to what employers need. Not just to the technical needs they have right now, but to how they're seeing around the corner of what's coming next. We want to make sure that all credentials lead to employment, and that is have a labor market premium uh, beyond a high school or secondary credential alone. So that's very important. But we also want to make sure they're not dead-end credentials. So we want to constantly build pathways to further education and to employment opportunities. As we've expanded the number of people who need these credentials, there's a lot of innovation we're trying to generate to enable people to go to school in different ways. And that's fantastic, that's really important, but we have this concept of innovating responsibly. There's lots of innovative ways to do it, but we want to make sure that 
all of those ways, make sure that you are genuinely developing the skills and abilities people need so that that credential will really unlock opportunity for people. When you set a goal like Lumina has set or like the UN has set with SDG4, you have more purpose and accountability toward a goal and achieve it much more successfully in the end. When we develop grant programs that encourage individuals or institutions or states to focus on closing equity gaps and we provide grant dollars so that they will do that, it actually does affect behavior and it affects the things that individuals uh, create as their priorities. So we are known for the dollars that we commit uh, for certain resources, but I think that we also play an important role as a thought partner um, as a thought leader in terms of changing the conversation, but also um, just putting important issues on the agenda and giving people new ways to think about things. Better education is the best shot at enabling a higher level uh, of income and therefore a fuller, better life. And when that happens, it then also enables people to participate more fully and not only ensuring that their life continues to be good, but also that the, the life of the community around them in which they participate also continues to get better.